All right, guys, so uh, Unity has released the VR samples. So if you go to the Unity Asset Store, you're going to find the VR samples. They've already been updated uh, to version 1.1. This tutorial just covers uh, how to convert the VR samples project to the Google, Car the Google, Google Cardboard SDK. Here we go. Um, I'm going to do a brand new project. And if you need to get the Google Cardboard SDK, just go ahead and go to... Uh, you know, Google Cardboard SDK, do a Google search for Unity, uh, click on the downloaded samples link right here. They got a direct link to the Unity package, um, and there's also a, a demo, uh, which is a separate Unity package. Check that one out. Um, and if you want to know what version you're using, just click the release notes here. You'll see that right now the version is 052. So this tutorial is how to convert Unity VR samples 1.1 to, to Google Cardboard SDK 052. I'm gonna just do a new Unity project, and let's just call this uh, VR test. And what I, the first thing I'm gonna import is gonna be the VR samples. And a good rule of thumb here, because we're gonna be deploying to Android here, let's just hit the build settings right now, switch over to the Android platform before we. Uh, and I'm going to use ETC to texture compression before I start importing uh, textures from, from Unity Packs. So let's go to the Asset Store tab here and uh, VR Samples. Here we go. Get this imported real quick. I've already had it downloaded. So I should be able to import this pretty quickly. Okay, the import is finally finished. So I've imported the VR Samples into... Uh, so it's VR Simples 1.1 imported into Unity. That's all I've done. I'm going to clear out these errors. And so if you if I go to the build settings real quick, I'm going to notice that there is the VR virtual reality supported check. I'm going to turn that off since we're using the Google Cardboard SDK that actually replaces that, um, that functionality in Unity right now. So I'm going to turn that off. And now we need to import the Google Cardboard SDK and uh, 052 and there's actually a few things that you don't really need in here uh, for example if you were just doing Android or IRS you can you can uh, take those off you also don't need the legacy folder but it looks like it's gonna require me to have that folder for some reason that's just for older versions of unity which uh, this I'm using unity 5 for this tutorial 5.3 okay of course because that's what the VR samples came out for so uh, we definitely don't need that legacy folder inside of the cardboard fold okay moving on the uh, now that I have both the VR samples imported and the cardboard SDK let's look at the VR samples scene and I'm just going to cover this uh, this intro scene. So in the intro scene, right now if I click play, um, I don't have the Oculus SDK installed, so so nothing nothing really works inside of the editor. We're going to fix that by just putting the cardboard SDK in here. Um, to get started, go to the cardboard prefabs and bring the cardboard main into your scene. Now that's going to replace this main camera object. So I have main camera and I have cardboard main. Main camera is going to get turned off. Um, then we're basically just going to move the components from main camera onto the cardboard main. And some of the, and the components that we have here are the VRI Raycaster. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that here. And when I do that, I need to update a couple of things because um, the VRI Raycaster looks for a camera and so our camera actually is going to be main camera that's underneath the head object and then it has uh, the re re reticle I need to look I need to see how to say it's the reticle the via and the VR input now neither one of these are on cardboard main yet but we need to get them on there so if I if I expand this and I look here we have the VR camera GUI I'm just gonna move that um, onto cardboard main. Actually, I, I believe 
the head is the proper uh, is going to be the proper spot for that VR camera UI underneath of the head, so that the UI fo follows the head's um, rotation. So now let's see. We also need the VR moving down the list. And what I'm doing is I'm just going down the main camera object that came with the VR, and I'm copying the scripts and I'm moving that over to the cardboard main object. So the next one down the list here is called VR input. I'm going to copy that component. I'm going to go to cardboard main. I'm going to paste it as a new. And we're done there. So the VRI Raycaster wants a VR input. Um, so we can just grab cardboard main, drag that into the VR input spot. It also wants the, the red, the reticle, <laughs> uh, reticle here. And, and if you're not sure what that is, what you can do is you can just click on it. And you can see that it's highlighting main camera. And so on main camera, it has this reticle strip script. I'm going to copy that component and I'm going to go back to cardboard main and I'm going to paste that component as new. And so again, now I have this, which we need to look at the values again. It has an image, which is under, which is a child of myself and the transform, which is a child of myself. But the camera, it says is back on main camera. So, um, we should populate that with a red camera which is this one underneath of cardboard main now again back up to the VRI Raycaster it wants the rectical script that's on my cardboard main now so I can drag that here and it looks like my VRI Raycaster script is complete my VR input script is complete and my rectical script is complete and so next is to go to the main camera and keep looking down the list here of the scripts that we need we need the VR camera UI. I'm going to copy that component and I'm going to paste that over onto the cardboard. And the canvas is just, again, a child of myself, so that's fine. Moving on down the list, there was a selection radial. And I'm going to copy that component and paste that as new onto the car. I clicked the wrong button. That's okay. Give it just a second to get the Visual Studio open. It's opening up this uh, VR camera UI script. We probably won't use uh, any scripting in this tutorial. Okay, so it wants a selection, which is a child, and a VR input, which is, again, it's on cardboard main now. So the selection radio script is complete. And next up is the rectical script. I already got that. The VR camera fade. We're gonna copy that component and over to cardboard main, paste that as new. And we got a child of herself, that's fine. And these are two prefabs, or not prefabs, but these are two uh, items that are in the uh, project files, so that's fine. We're done with the key of uh, VR camera fade script. Copy the return to main menu and paste that back here again onto cardboard main, and we have. A string that's fine but the VR input needs to be updated and the VR camera fade again is on myself again so update those two go back down here and we got the VR tracking reset which I'll show you all it does is this input tracking recenter which is unity engine dot VR so we're not really using any of that I guess so I don't we really sh I don't believe we this scripts gonna do anything for the cardboard uh, for the cardboard script. Now, moving on, we got uh, a few other things to do. One of those is this VR manager, which we just need to turn it off. This uh, is, again, using the Unity VR API, which we're not using. We're using the cardboard VR API. Um, the background is fine. System has this intro manager which has a rectangle and a radio which are both on the cardboard main now and the rest of those are fine there's an event system and that should be fine and we have the GUI there's a couple things we need to change in here and I'll show you why in just a second I'm gonna start it and see what happens okay so we move around and we got the pointer and we can highlight an object, but we can't click on it yet. So, what's happening is 
if I look at that item itself, which is the complete selection slider and the intro. Where's the other one at? There's two of them here. It's the instruction. It's the instruction selection slider. You can see they're at the same place, and the complete selection sl slider. And what these have on them are, so I've selected the instruction selection slider, and on here you're gonna see it has a VR interact item script, and the selection slider script. Now the selection slider script s wants a interactive item, which is myself, and it wants a VR input which is pointing to the main camera, but our VR input's on camera main. So we need to update that VR input to cardboard main now. So if I click play, and I'm holding down the alt button on the keyboard to, to look around, you can use control to tilt the head. Um, and I look at it and I click, you can see that it works. And when it brings up the second button, nothing's gonna work because I haven't updated again any, any interactive item that has the selection slider script on it. So I can come over here and I can type selection slider and I'm gonna find that there's two items in the scene that have it and they both need to get updated with this uh, VR input to the cardboard main because the cardboard main is now on, the, the VR input script is now on cardboard main. So now that I've done that, um, I should be able to look around, click on the button and click on it again and everything's working okay so what you need to do now is when you push the button down on the cardboard you actually can't hold it down like that so um, if you look on this selection slider script it has a duration and I'm gonna set that to zero and set that to zero on both of them so now it has a zero duration in other words the moment I click with my cardboard click it's gonna immediately push that button okay looking good this should work with Google Cardboard I'm gonna go to the build settings and the only one that's gonna work here is intro um, so I'm gonna leave I'm going to uncheck these for now since I've only modified the intro scene and build and run. I prefer a folder called builds and a subfolder called Android and let's build a uh, VR test .apk. Okay, so it's just finished building. Um, let me run on my phone here. Where are we at? Okay, so let's see if I can get it on the screen here. Um, it's definitely working, okay, and but I can't see it. So let me let me look at the button. And what I'm gonna do is just to make sure it's working, slip it into my cardboard viewers because I got the button on it. And let me check this thing out. It says, "Look here, the button works." Okay, so the back button doesn't work. Um, or tilting the phone to the right doesn't work yet to go back but I'm not gonna cover that in this tutorial the basics here are working uh, the button works you can look around um, you can use the same exact method in all of the scenes and all the other uh, demo scenes to get to get uh, the games up and working for Google Cardboard so hope that helps if it does give it a like give it a subscribe thanks for watching you guys and stay tuned because I'm gonna be releasing releasing each game that comes from the VR samples for Google Cardboard uh, so stay tuned for those